Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 17 for 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. When we last saw Superman, he had just driven back a mass of rioting convicts at the western penitentiary of San Miguel, using a 20-foot timber as a weapon. For a moment, the situation is saved, but only for a moment. The Wolf and Kino are still barricaded in the dining hall with a few desperate convicts. As our story continues today, Superman has leaped into a cloud of tear gas and vanished. But already word of his unbelievable performance has reached the office of the warden and has also reached into the dining hall. The hiding place of Kino and the wolf. Listen. Hey, boy. Where are you? Here, Kino. What's the matter? Close the door. Listen. I just heard from one of the guys that tried to rush the gates. They couldn't do it. Why not? They were stopped. Forced back into the cell block. What stopped them? Not what? Who? Hey, boss. It was a guy in a red cloak that jumped over the wall. Right out of a cloud of gears. What? A man in a red cloak. Boss, it's the same one. The one that stopped us from wrecking the silver clipper. And broke up our car and turned us over to the cops. He's here at San Miguel. No, no, it's not possible. Yeah, and I'll tell you something else, too. That reporter's here. That Clark Kent. Clark Kent? Yeah, I seen him myself. Running around the corner to the warden's office. Uh, so Kent's here, too, huh? We owe that smart young man something, you know? And I think this is the time to pay him. Kent doesn't know it yet. But the minute he makes a move or gets in our way... Well, I get you. Hey, how you gonna wake him? Look, you know, it's almost time. That gas is like a smoke screen over the yard. So what? Just this. When I give the signal, you and I and a few of the boys will dash across the yard to the steam plant. Hey, boss, suppose they shoot at us from the towers. Nah, don't worry, they won't. In the first place, the warden doesn't want bloodshed. He's soft, you know that. He'll do his best to break the riot with Tierra. Do you tell him to shoot if we make a break? When we're ready to break out, Kino, they won't even see us. And they won't shoot when we rush for the steam plant. I've been a little trump card, Kino. A little surprise for the warden and Mr. Clark Kent. Help me fix this broken telephone wire, Kino. Open that box. If I can get the phone to work, I've got a little message for the warden. Now find that little thing. And meanwhile, Superman, having forced the rioting convicts back into the cell block, Unaware that the Wolf and Kino are barricaded in the dining hall, enters the warden's office as Clark Kent. Who are you? Is this Warden Bowman? Yes. I'm Clark Kent of the Daily Planet. Uh, warden speaking. Warden, I'm calling from the dining hall. What? Who is this? You don't know. But well, you should know this. This Lois Lane is right here with us. You've got Lois Lane? Why, no, Warden. At the moment, she Man, think what you're doing. Oh, I thought, what? I had weeks and months to think. When we leave this place, the girl is going with me. If there's any shooting, she'll be the first one to stop a bullet. Wait. And if there's a reporter named Clark Kent in your office, tell him to remember, too. Tell him to remember the silver clipper. Wait, wait, come back here. What? The silver clipper? The man who spoke to you was the wolf. How did you hear that? How did you know who he was? Never mind. If he's got Lois Lane, there isn't a second to waste. I'll be back later, Warden. Hey, Kent, where are you going? Just wait and see. I'm going to rush the dining hall. Have your guards ready when the mob comes out. So long. Once outside the Warden's office, hidden by the heavy clouds of rolling gas, Clark Kent in a split second becomes Superman, man of steel, and streaks for the roof of the dining hall. Those devils. They really got Lois. I'll give them something they'll never forget. Ah, there's the dining hall. Look at those guards trying to force the way in with tear gas. They'll never make it. Watch how long it takes Superman. Down. Down. Ah, now then. Won't take me long to get in there. I'll rip through this roof in no time. Charging an effort, Superman bends to the roof, seizes sheets of metal in his bare hands, strips them off like paper, crashes through planks and beams, and leaps into the dining hall. Hey, boy. Hey, hey, what's that? That guy in the red cape. I seen him at the gate. Run, beat it. All over, boys. The riot stops right here. Now open those doors and march out of the 
the yard with your hands up. Go on, move. Oh, 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 the guy. Run. Quick, quick, quick. Keep moving. Out there and turn yourselves over to the guard. And if I were you, I'd have my hands up. Faster, boys, faster. Kino. I can see them anywhere. Must be hiding in the cellar with Lois. They won't hide long. Lois! Lois Lane, where are you? All right, if I've got to rip this place apart, I'll do it. But you'd better not be there when I find you, Wolf. Here I come. But the Wolf is not to be found. Under cover of Superman's attack on the dining hall, he and Kino, carrying Lois between them, have slipped out a side door into clouds of smoke and made their way to the steam plant close against the prison's outer wall. There, with a small band of helpers. Boss, what do we do with the girl? You beast. Let me go. Throw her in the corner, Kino. No, 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 don't untie her hand. What are you going to do? Keep you with us, Miss Lane, as an antidote for Mr. Clark Kent. Clark Kent? Right, so. If Kent bothers us this time, I'm sorry, but it won't be too healthy for you. Kent? But he isn't anywhere near me. Oh, pardon me, but he is. Right up there in the warden's office, Miss Lane. Kent? All right, get to cover up the steam tunnel. You're ready in a minute. Hold them off. Force they get to closer. You over there. Have you got the steam lines, Rick? All right, turn on the steam. Wipe the nozzles down the yard. Let's them have it.
strange and terrible adventure lies directly ahead. Be sure to tune in next time and follow the story. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 17 from 1940. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.